Whether it's Halloween, Easter, Valentine's Day, I don't care what the holiday is or the special event, I can guarantee you that there will probably be candy there. And who wants to say no to their favorite treat over and over again? Not me, and I know you probably don't wanna say no either. So if you wanna enjoy candy every once in a while without spiking your blood sugar, then stay tuned because today I am sharing my top list of the best sugar-free candies for people with diabetes so that you can have your sweets and feel your best too. Hey everybody, Erin here with Healthy Mom, Happy Family. And if you love candy, you are in luck because today I am sharing with you my top picks for sugar-free candy that won't spike your blood sugar. Now, I love candy and it is always around at pretty much any holiday. And I don't want you to have to say no to some of your favorite foods. Now, I don't think you need to eat candy every day, all day, but if candy is something that you love, I wanna show you some of the best choices that won't spike blood sugar and that can actually be good for your teeth that are available in pretty much any store. So we're going to go through the list right now, but before we dive in, I just want to remind you that if you are looking for tips and tricks on managing type 2 diabetes and reversing insulin resistance and quick and easy recipes, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Okay, so let's dive in and talk about my top choices for sugar-free candies for people who are trying to manage blood sugar. Now, before I give you the list, I just want to know a few things. If you're wondering, you know, who should eat sugar-free candy? Well, you can have regular candy, but if you want to enjoy sweets while keeping your blood sugar in check, or if you just want to have candy a little bit more often, then maybe you should, or you don't want to worry about candy having a negative impact on your weight and providing more calories or impacting your oral health, then that is where sugar-free candy plays a role. But I do want you to remember that sugar-free does not always mean carb-free. So you do have to look at those labels because candy that's sugar-free might still contain carbohydrates and still have an impact on blood sugar. So you have to read those labels and make sure that you're balancing it into your diabetes-friendly meal plan. Now, the other thing I just wanna caution you about is that sugar-free candy often is lower in calories and carbohydrates, but that's because it does have substitutes in it. And some of those sugar-free candies are made with sugar alcohols and extra fibers. And this does provide sweetness without the spikes in blood sugar, but they can occasionally cause gastrointestinal discomfort or distress. So if you're sensitive to these, I would use the portions very cautiously, you know, try a little bit before you dive into the whole bag and look for things made with erythritol versus say xylitol. That's gonna be a bit easier on digestion. Um, but everybody's different, right? Some people can tolerate sweeteners like allulose really well. Some people have a hard time if there's even a little bit in foods. So start small, see how you tolerate it before you dive in and eat a whole bag of sugar-free candy and, and possibly regret it. All right, so now I am gonna share with you my top choices for sugar-free candy that taste great, don't spike blood sugar, and are pretty easy to find. Okay, so let's start with Lily's Sweet Fruity Friends Gummy Bears. Now, I love gummy bears and they're so adorable, but a lot of times they're packed full of sugar. So these are diabetes friendly and they are much lower in carbohydrate. So they don't have sugar alcohols, which is actually really great if you're sensitive to sugar alcohols, but they are sweetened with allulose. Now, allulose is a natural sweetener. It is well tolerated, but there is a high amount of fiber in these gummy bears too. So Word of caution, just start small, have one or two, see how you tolerate it and build up from there. Um, one serving of this candy has 45 grams of carbohydrate, but 25 grams are coming from soluble corn fiber and another 14 grams are coming from allulose. So you're really only getting three grams of net carbs, whereas you compare to traditional gummy bears, you'd be getting 18 grams of uh, net carbs. So significantly less, but just start small to make sure it doesn't have any impact on digestion. Okay, now if you love M&Ms, a great alternative is the High Key Chocolate Pearls. They're brightly colored candy, they are chocolate coated, really great swap for M&Ms, high in fiber, they don't have any artificial colors or flavors, and they have zero sugar. Now they're sweetened with a blend of erythritol and stevia, and they also have a fiber added too. So 33 pieces only has 11 grams of net carb. So again, there is still carbs in these, you still have to count that in, but significantly less than if you were gonna have a bag of M&Ms. All 
All right, let's talk about Dr. John's healthy, sweet, sugar-free hard candy. Now, I love hard candy just because it takes longer to eat so you can enjoy it longer. And this one, you can get all different flavors. There's watermelon, strawberry, green apple, so a lot of sweeteners, but no sugar. Um, great swap for hard candies like Lifesavers. And if you're thinking about this versus, say, a Lifesaver, you're saving 14 grams of net carb per serving. So four pieces of this candy only has one gram of net carb. And the sweetener they use is xylitol, erythritol, and stevia. So really great choice for blood sugar. The xylitol can potentially impact um, GI, but it also is actually very beneficial for oral health. And it's a small amount. And because these are hard candies and you tend to eat them more slowly, chances are much less it's going to bother you. But see how you tolerate it in a small amount first before you have too many. All right, so let's talk about peanut butter cups because who doesn't love a peanut butter cup, right? So the great thing is Reese's makes a sugar-free Reese's mini peanut butter cup. And I love these, especially um, really all times of year, but especially around Halloween when the peanut butter cups are everywhere. Um, so you can certainly have them. If you look at the serving size here, three mini Reese's cups, they only have four grams of net carbs. Now, if you compared that to the regular ones, you'd be getting 11 grams of net carb. So it's almost triple how many net carbs you're getting in the traditional versus the savings you're getting in these sugar-free varieties. Um, these have a blend of sugar alcohols with sucralose with them, so that replaces the sugar and gives you a sweetness that isn't gonna spike your blood sugar. Okay, now another brand I love is Zollipops, and they have a caramel clean teeth dark chocolate. Um, these are great if you love caramels. I love caramel. And so this is sweetened with xylitol and erythritol. So it's a really delicious alternative. It's not gonna spike blood sugar, and it actually benefits your oral health because xylitol can help to prevent cavities, um, unlike traditional caramels that probably <laughs> can promote them. So a really, really great choice if you wanna swap these out for traditional caramels. Um, you're gonna save about 16 grams of net carb per serving with this compared to traditional ones. But again, just do watch because anything with xylitol can be bloating in some individuals, not everyone. I have plenty of clients that eat these and have no issue. So just start small and see how much you tolerate. All right, now let's talk about Lily's white chocolate bar. I am a huge white chocolate lover and it is very, very hard to find white chocolate that doesn't have a high sugar content. But Lily's has made it happen and it tastes great. Um, they just have two grams of sugar and only four grams of net carb per serving. It contains a blend of stevia and erythritol. And there's also seven grams of fiber in here. So you're getting a boost of fiber, which is gonna fill you up. Uh, but it's not going to spike blood sugar. And I love this because you can use it, just you know, grab a bite, but you can also melt it down, put it in recipes. Really, really great alternative to traditional white chocolate. Okay, so where's my licorice fans at? <laughs> you are gonna wanna check out Project 7 Low Sugar Red Licorice. Now, red licorice, you know, it's great. I know everybody loves it, but you can have 25 grams of carbohydrate and 15 grams of added sugar per one serving. Now, this licorice is not sugar-free, but it's low enough in sugar that it's not gonna really have much of an impact on blood sugar. All right, one bag of red licorice is basically the equivalent of five Twizzler sticks, okay? So you're getting a lot more, and you're only getting 11 grams of net carb, one gram of sugar. It's sweetened with allulose. It also um, is gonna have a minimal impact on blood sugar, but still some impact because there are still carbohydrates. So small portion, combined it with protein, fat, and fiber, but a great alternative when you really, really want some licorice. Now, another candy I absolutely love is Swedish Fish, and candy people make a sugar-free Swedish Fish that I just love, you know, it's, <laughs> I can't get enough of it. Um, so this is a great way to really curb that craving if you want it without the sugar spike. Um, you're getting 13 grams of net carb and zero added sugar. So again, there are carbohydrates in this. It's sweetened with malitol and they're gelatin free, if that matters to you as far as, you know, being vegetarian. But on top of it, they do give you a great alternative, less sugar, but do keep in mind there are still some carbs in these, so you have to watch the portions. Now, Stevita hard candy is another great option if you're looking at hard candy with zero net carbs. They only have 1.5 grams of sugar alcohol per serving. So they're using mostly stevia, which is more of a natural low sugar alternative. Um, 
if you love the taste of stevia as a sweetener, I personally think it tastes great. This is a really, really great option. And hard candy I love because it lasts a little bit longer. And especially if you're someone who's struggling with say like dry mouth and you need something to suck on, this is a great option during the day and it's not gonna have a negative impact on blood sugar. All right, now if you love licorice, but you're more of a black licorice fan, I want you to check out Daryl Lee's Sugar-Free Black Licorice. This is pretty much as close to the real thing as you can get without spiking your blood sugar levels. Now you're gonna get about eight grams of net carb per serving, so still some carb, but significantly less. It does contain the sugar alcohol maltose, which for some people can have a bit of a laxative effect. So again, small portions, gauge your tolerance, but a great alternative. Now, I know I mentioned before how much I love Swedish fish. So another great alternative is Smart Sweets Sweet Fish. Um, this you can find in most grocery stores too, which I love about that. And it's a really, really great option when you're thinking about lower sugar candy. It pretty much checks all the boxes. You know, it's delicious. It has the same taste and texture like the traditional, but it's sweetened with allulose. So one bag contains only 100 calories, and that's always fun when you can eat the whole bag. Um, 13 grams of fiber, okay? so. There's still 18 grams of net carb in the bag. It is not completely free of carb, but the allulose is not really digested in your body. It's not gonna have an impact on blood sugar. The fiber content is there too. Just remember that's a lot of fiber, so you do wanna build up your tolerance to it, but a delicious alternative when you are looking for a candy to enjoy and satisfy that sweet craving without spiking your blood sugar. Okay, so all of these candies that I mentioned, I'm a big fan of, I will link below so you can find them all online if you're looking for them. Many you can find right in your grocery store, but I just want you to remember that just because you're managing your blood sugar or you've been diagnosed with diabetes, it doesn't mean you have to give up the food you love. And if you love candy, it is absolutely fine to indulge once in a while and enjoy some of these sugar-free candies so that you can eat them without worry, but still watch the portions, okay? Because just like anything, too much of a good thing is never great. And it's about balance, right? We don't want too much because some still contain carbohydrate, but also too much of things like sugar alcohols could potentially have you know, some gas and bloating and laxative effects. So small portions in moderation, gauge your tolerance, and also check your blood sugar to see how you respond. But this is a really fun list of candy alternatives that won't spike your blood sugar so you can still you know, feel like you're part of it at holidays and festivities and enjoy what you love. So tell me, have you tried any of these sugar-free candies? If you have, comment below and let me know which ones are your favorite. And if there's some I missed on my list, let me know because I want to try them too. I mean, if you're more of a make your own sweets, I definitely recommend a few recipes I'm going to link to below. I have a sugar-free cinnamon roll recipe. It's a mug cake you can make it in the microwave. Um, my no sugar added peanut butter cookies, my no sugar added pumpkin muffins, my blondie mug cake, all delicious, all easy to make, won't send your blood sugar soaring, and they're really, really great alternatives um, for people with diabetes or trying to manage blood sugar for dessert, if you love sweets as much as I do. All right, so if you liked today's video, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss new tips, tricks, and recipes. I can't wait to see you next time, and thanks for joining me today.